morning campers. We are rolling a nice clean trailer and we are on our way to pick up our next load in Livonia, Michigan. It's going to be another overnight run so there might not be much footage on this one once again. North on Baker Road in 700 feet. Turn right to exit 4 I 9 4 East and Ann Arbor. This road has a lot of traffic, so that was pretty much my only good chance to go there. Must be why, that must be an advantage of the easy pass lane. You can probably keep your speed up a little bit higher. 
working on it. I was really tempted to stop and get some McDonald's there. There's a, uh, a pilot right there with a 24-7 McDonald's in it. It was so tempting, but we don't have a lot of wiggle room on this load anymore. Thanks to the, uh, the shipper taking quite some time to get the load ready. So I want to save all my... Six miles ahead. Stay on I-80 East as I-90 splits off. I want to save all my wiggle room for uh, bathroom stops. I wouldn't do that. 
that's the truck route. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. should have put a truck detour up.
into our dock. The doors are still closed because they're not ready to unload us. But that is fine. We will be able to solve that problem in a bit. At least we're off the street. That's what they uh, that's what they were worried about. So <laughs> Oh man, you guys. <laughs> that was intense. So I don't know what shape the uh, the dash cam footage is in, because I know my, my battery for the camera ran out. I stopped caring about recording uh, <laughs> right about when uh, right about when I saw the second roadblock. So I wasn't really paying attention to that and uh, the battery definitely died in the camera uh, before I hit stop. But uh, hopefully the dash cam footage was at least usable as like a fast forward sequence to show how we got out of that. <laughs> it was uh, stressful. But yeah, no, for some reason they did not put truck detour signs or even just like a, a closed warning on, uh, on that anywhere. So that's probably going to happen to them a bunch more this morning. But uh... We kind of bullied our way through the, uh, we bullied our way through that one roadblock by just kind of yelling at the poor crossing guard lady. She was so nice. I feel so bad for kind of forcing her to help me out there, but, um, they realized I couldn't really go anywhere else. So it was like, if I just keep inching towards this barrier, they'll move them and let me onto this side street and then we can figure out what to do from there. And it worked and they, they moved the barriers. They let me in. <laughs> And then uh, had a nice long talk with the uh, Homeland Security <laughs> and uh, the very kind uh, police officer that was working the uh, the corner that I wound up in. And um, so she helped me back around that corner so that we were pointed back at the interstate. So she kept the traffic from coming in on my blind side, thankfully. And we, we managed to get the trailer down the side street she she moved her her barriers so that I could get my trailer down down the uh, the other road and then I was able to uh, I was able to just power my way back up the hill <laughs> that was uh stressful and there were a few more closed roads down here as well which made this a lot of fun but we did make it definitely went down a street that's not normally truck legal it was uh local trucks only was the was the sign on that one so I don't know how we're getting out <laughs> I have no idea alrighty we are empty I am rolling out for my customer. We're taking the easy way out, which I'm told would have been the easy way in as well if we had known about it. So, yeah, lucky me. But uh, it's fine. It's pretty close to the way we were trying to come in just without going through the marathon track. And then this will take us out to 376, I think. Pretty sure this will take us out of 376, like 99%. That place was something else. Getting in and out of here is, oof, not easy. Not easy.
one turn. So we're going to have to swing a bit left because we can't run over the curb because those people might still be there. If they don't cross now. Which... Hey, they got through. Cool. Still definitely go wide because I don't want my uh, I don't want my trailer to go over the curb if I can avoid it. Oh yay!
where it meets Interstate 70, and then we'll go east a bit. Uh, I don't remember the name of the town, but there's a pilot on I-70, and that is literally the closest place to park, 45 miles from our customer, or the closest truck stop. We're not going to get there. We are going to stop at a rest area on Interstate 79, and assuming I get a spot, we'll be staying there for at least eight hours. Alright, time to find out if fate smiles upon us. Bringing our speed down. No idling, no problem. Is that a spot? That's a spot. That's Point two front miles row ahead. Parking. Turn right, right on ramp to I-79 South. Whoop, mine now. And we set a nice good example by not pulling too far forward so that when this person to our right inevitably leaves before us, then hopefully the person that pulls in after them will also leave us plenty of room. So, okie doke. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name is Elio Dare, Azar Angel17 on Twitch, Xbox Live, and Steam. Drop in, say hi. Let me know if you enjoy the videos by clicking like or subscribe, or you can come say hi on the Twitters at Elio Dare, no apostrophe in the username. Or, of course, you can say hi in the comments. I do read all the comments, and that's a great way to get something in front of my eyeballs. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.